Welcome everyone to Leaders in the Spotlight. My name is Stephen Evans and I'm NATO's Assistant Secretary General for Operations. I look forward to taking your questions on Afghanistan today. And the first of those questions is, what are some of the biggest challenges in Afghanistan that remain for NATO to engage with before the planned 2014 withdrawal? And that question was put by Kathleen in London. ANSF capabilities, the capabilities of the Afghan National Security Forces, certainly need further development. But those forces have made significant and very real progress in recent months and years. What we need to focus on now are the systems, processes and institutions necessary to make our progress enduring. And we're looking to provide support at the ministerial level as well as the core level in the armed forces. In the fielded force, we're looking particularly at helping the Afghan Air Force, the logistics and intelligence structures. These are areas where improvement is definitely still required. But what we really want to do is to ensure that the progress that we've made over the last few years is sustainable beyond the end of the current NATO mission in Afghanistan at the end of 2014. At the ministerial level, we're focused on functions such as planning, programming, budgeting, acquisition and personnel management. At the core level and below within the military structure, we're looking in particular at command and control, combined arms integration, sustainment, collective training and accountable and effective leadership. We will be assessing our progress very carefully in the um, months to come and we will be setting ourselves a clear goal of ensuring that when the current NATO ISAF mission comes to an end, we will leave behind Afghan security institutions and fielded forces that are capable of doing the job. And that job is, of course, to provide security for their own country.